All right, so in this video, we're gonna be going over kind of like a broad overview of, of what it took to raise these pheasants from chicks to adults. Right now they're about five or six months old. We started raising them in late May and right now it's close to Christmas. So, and uh, tune in and see what it's all about. So we just received the chicks um, from the US Postal Service and they arrived in this box. There's heat pads underneath um, the shipping container. And what we're doing is we're taking them. We're taking the chicks. And then we dip their beaks in the water right away so that they can hydrate. And then they're just becoming acclimated to their environment and going underneath the heat lamps. One day old, a lot of them just nap right underneath the light. And they really walk all over each other uh, and sleep a lot. So they'll be a lot more active in a couple days. All right, it's day three. And as you can tell, the baby pheasant chicks are much more active. Running around quite a bit now. This is box one. I would probably only feel that about half full or so because when it rains, it has to be you know, it's not sensitive away from the wall. Today, we're going to be moving the pheasants out of the um, boxes that they grew up in, and they're about two and a half, three weeks old. And we're going to move them into the pen that we have out here. Um, we moved the meat chickens in about a week ago, and they're doing well with the heat lamp and the food and the feed. And they're in the kind of a smaller portion of the pheasant pen. Um, in the other portion, we have a heat lamp set up, food and water, and then also some driftwood so that they can uh, kind of hide and run in between stuff. So uh, we need over 50 of them need to go in here. So it'll be interesting trying to capture them all. And I'm sure it'll be exciting. All right, so basically we have about 20 birds in this box and about 30 in that box. And we're gonna go on the smaller box first and we're gonna try to catch them, put them into this cardboard box. I cut out like a little flap. And uh, then we're gonna release them into their new pen. But um, as you know, people don't like moving, so I'm sure the pheasants don't like moving. They're probably gonna try to get away, so. 
We locked down the area and uh, wish us luck. Caught one, which is kind of what they look like, pretty small at this age. So into the penny goes. Yeah, maybe just open it. <laughs> Alright, come on guys. New home, new tent. Box number two of uh, Pheasant Chicks. The first one seemed to go pretty well, and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go for it. dollars for the box. Just kidding. Come on guys, new pen, new hole. Can't live in the box. Oh, you got all three lights. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they're packing them. Yeah, they'll go after them. You have to grab the... Hello guys, thanks for tuning in. Max here. Um, the pheasants are four weeks old and we're going to put blinders on them. The blinders that we're using are just clip-ons, so we're going to use this tool to kind of flex the plastic a little bit and then we'll be able to open up the blinder and we put it on their beaks. Um, this doesn't puncture the membrane like some of the blinders with the pins do, but I haven't had any issues with them falling off or anything in the past couple of years that I've used them, so we're going to continue to use them. But yeah, it's kind of interesting, so it'll be fun to watch. Darn it, that was all of them. <laughs> okay, so what I have here is I caught one of the roosters. 
Um, after like probably chasing them around for like two, two or three minutes, I finally got one. There's 43 of them running around this cage. So, but this is a rooster. Um, you can kind of tell that by the root bear colored feathers. Uh, this is a definitely a juvenile. It's 12 weeks old and they reach maturity at about 20 weeks. So we got them at the beginning of June and it's the end of August right now. Um, the tail feathers are coming in. They're probably maybe a third or half the length of what they will be when it's an adult. Um, body size, I'd say he's about halfway there. He's going to grow quite a bit in the next eight weeks. And you can definitely tell the red that's kind of developing around the eye. That's pretty distinguishable between a rooster and a hen. And obviously he has lots of colors coming in. It's really looking like a juvenile bird. Um, starting to turn into an adult. He doesn't really have the ring neck around his, there should be like a white coat of feathers around his neck. But that's not coming in yet. He's, he's working on it. And then we got the blinder on there that we put on him around four or five weeks old and it's just been on there the whole time and this kind of helps him from attacking other birds and then also other birds don't attack him because they can't see right in front of where they're pecking and so it kind of helps them grow and leave each other alone and then their tail feathers seem to be a little bit longer because they're not picking on each other as much. So uh, yeah, pheasants are pretty aggressive towards one another, and that's just one way that we can kind of prevent them from being as aggressive. So this guy's looking a little uncomfortable, so I'm going to let him go. Okay, so now these pheasants are now adults. They're six months old, and we've started raising them on some wild bird seed. They seem to like that better than the uh, high protein feed that they were getting early on. It's also December now, so we put a water heater um, in their water and ran an extension cord back out to the house so they can have water in the winter. They're gonna be housed mostly outside. Um, we did put down some straw for them to have a little bit of bedding in and they still do roost um, usually on top of the driftwood. So um, right now I'm holding a, a hen and a rooster and as you can see the hen's pretty pretty much the same color as it was uh, when it was a juvenile. It just got a little bit bigger and longer feathers and not quite much red around the eye. And then right here I have a a rooster and he has the red around the eye he has the the ring neck white band around his neck and uh, his tail feathers are probably 20 probably 24 inches long so he's one of the smaller ones um, I wasn't able to catch one of the ones with the longer tail feathers but uh, regardless you know side side by side it's it's pretty cool um, you know seeing where these chicks came from and kind of you know watching them grow as adults so we're keeping a couple to breed and we'll try incubating some eggs and hatching them in spring and so that'll be the plan for the next
this upcoming month, so be sure to watch. Thank you.